Welcome to the Bamford Report of June the 24th, 2011. My name is Max Bamford. I'm the author of a book called The Posture Theory. Today I'll be talking about the health problems of the hunchback poet Alexander Pope. One of the statements he made was, just as the twig is bent, the tree's inclined. Those words are reflected in the illustrations at the top of this page where, as you can see, two of the trees are curved. The youngest and smallest is pliable and can be easily straightened. But if it continues to grow in that manner until it reaches its full height and the trunk hardens, then its shape can't be so easily changed. The indications for human posture are that there is importance in preventing spinal deformities. For example, a child who sleeps in a hammock for many years is likely to develop a curvature of the spine, whereas that's not likely to happen to a child who sleeps on properly designed orthopedic bedding. The next question I'd like to discuss is what caused the hunchback deformity of Alexander Pope? Uh, many biographies have been written, many suggestions have been made, including the suggestion that he inherited that deformity from his father. It's also been suggested that he had vitamin D deficiency and rickets during infancy, that when he was 12 years old he drank milk that was infected with tuberculosis and developed tuberculosis of the spine, and that when he was 8 years old he was trampled by a cow. However, I have a copy of a, a book published by Penguin Books first in 1930. I have the 1948 edition. It's called Alexander Pope Biography. And the author is Edith Sitwell. And on page 28, it states that according to his half-sister, when he was three years old, he was trampled by a wild cow and it wounded his throat with its horns. This presents a couple of possibilities. The first is his, his spine was uh, damaged when he was trampled and the second is that the cow may have been infected with tuberculosis which can transfer to humans cause infection of the lungs and the spine and this illustration shows the type of deformity that can occur as a result of tuberculosis of the spine so those are the possible causes of his deformity it's been suggested that that was the cause of his health problems later in life and uh, at a later stage he described his headaches indigestion and a thousand other aches and pains. The question is what causes headaches? Well there's several possibilities. When a person have, has a, a normal physique their head is balanced perfectly and effortlessly on top of uh, the neck and the shoulders but when a person is stooped the weight of the body is transferred forwards and the effects of gravity would tend to make the person fall over unless there was some action on the part of the spinal muscles to stop that from occurring and that can produce strain on the spinal muscles. Also, the weight of the head is carried by the neck. The muscles of the neck in particular, and the vertebra and the uh, ligaments and nerves of the neck uh, in that area are under some degree of strain and it's been implicated that strain in this area can be a trigger for headaches and migraines. But also when a person is stooped, in order to see forwards, they look forwards and this produces a curvature here and strain on those muscles have been, been implicated in headaches at the back and the top of the head. The uh, additional feature is that not only is the neck uh, uh, under some degree of strain, there's also alteration in the, in the uh, throat uh, and that can dispose to sore throat. The next question is what causes indigestion? Well, uh, the stoop physique applies pressure to the stomach. It also alters the angle of the food pipe or esophagus and that can uh, dispose to spasm of the esophagus and difficulty swallowing. It also can dispose to reflux of stomach acid from the stomach to the esophagus to produce heartburn and it can also uh, predispose to the development of hiatus hernia. Also, the compression of the stomach can impede the natural function of digestion and hunchback physique is associated with poor digestion, a stunted growth and a thin physique. There has been suggestions that, um, uh, or inf information reports, that Alexander Pope had a short stature as an adult, only four foot six tall. And uh, the, one of the reasons for that was he may have actually been about five foot six if his physique was normal, but as you can see, uh, with the stoop physique, your height is reduced. 
In addition to that, it was reported that while his friends were getting taller during his teenage years, he was actually getting shorter. And the reason for that would be that the uh, spine is still pliable at that age, and uh, with the stoop physique and the head and shoulders projected forwards, and the effects of gravity as each year went by, the stoop would increase, and of course his height would be reduced. The next question is, um, what would be that? What would, would be his other health problems? Well, he's reported his uh, problems with breathing, and uh, again, the stoop compresses the breathing muscles and the lungs, and that can dispose to functional problems with those structures. It can also dispose to uh, diseases and disorders and, and infections of the lungs. Uh, in addition to that. Uh, the breathing of a person who's stooped tends to be not as deep, the lungs are not as well ventilated and therefore not generally as healthy as they would be in a person with good physique and so if there's exterior bacteria inhaled and uh, the likelihood of a, an infection uh, occurring is increased. Having said that, the uh, next question is what happened of, uh, later in his life? Um, he eventually died uh, at the relatively young age of 46 and at that stage he reported breathing problems. He also was described as having Bright's disease. That condition is a disorder of the kidneys and the stoop physique also compresses this area where the kidneys are and that is possibly uh, a cause of kidney congestion uh, which can uh, result in such things as kidney stones and disposed to inflammation or infection of the kidneys and the uh, symptoms of uh, Bright's disease include high blood pressure and edema and the accumulation of fluid in the lungs which could have uh, contributed to his breathing problems at that stage which would, would have been additional to the breathing problems that he'd had throughout his life. Having said that, uh, more than 2000 years ago Hippocrates observed that uh, individuals who had uh, curvature um, deformities of the upper spine uh, were likely to have lung diseases and those who had um, deformities of the lower spine were likely to have kidney disorders. Uh, Alexander Pope had the hunchback deformity of the upper spine, he had also had an opposing curvature of the lower spine and he had sideways curvature of the spine and the combination of those features would have contributed to his many other aches and pains. Having said that, I'll end my talk. Um, uh, this uh, information is subject to my copyright. It's a result of my interest in the subject of posture and health and history. Um, you're more than welcome to discuss and write about these ideas, but please acknowledge the source of the information. Having said that, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and interesting. My name is Max Banford and this has been the Banford Report of the 24th of June 2011.